least get the roof off and get it up. Jack, it's finally gone. How are you feeling? Uh, I feel like you. <laughs> no, I feel about 12 years old, but um, no, it feels it feels weird. But at the end of the day, all I was thinking to, it's a great cause. And um, it's about making money for less fortunate people. And that's that's what we've done, whether it's £200, £2,000, whatever. It's it's money at the end of the day, and uh, it'll help someone out. Have you been dreading this day a little bit with the beer going? I've had my ups and down days. I'm thinking, should I not do it? Should I do it? But no, it's it's. Uh, I always knew I was going to do it. Obviously, I've done Movember a couple of times. Um, I think I've done it a couple of years ago. And then I thought to myself, I thought, I've got the beard. And I was half thinking of trimming it right down anyways. And I thought, I may as well do it for a good cause. And it doesn't take long to grow back. So it's a little thing for me. So yeah, I look about 12, but that's fine. <laughs> Is that the plan now to uh, grow it back or are you going to keep it clean? I'll not keep it clean, but it'll be a way shorter than what it was. That's that, that's the plan from now on. But um, I think a few fans will be happy with that. There's a, there's not many that like the beard anymore. But but yeah, it's um, it feels strange. It feels strange. Hopefully, it doesn't affect your form because you're in top form at the moment. Bruno said best goal in the league. How does that feel? Yeah, it's it's massive coming from him. Um, obviously, a great player, great manager. Um, and for him to say something like that when you look at the goalkeepers that are in this league. Um, it's massive praise, and um, that's what I say when people ask me interviews about about my own form. I don't like to to give about my own form, but when you hear the people saying it, it's it, it's really good. But it's about carrying that form on throughout the full season, um, and and it's not about individual form, and it's not about individual performances. It's about the team, and um, we've got a big couple of months coming up. Um, December and January is what decides the league. I, I always say every year, um, no matter what league you're in, December and January normally defines your league. Um, and it's up to us to pull as many points and get into that third round as well. You mentioned December to find the league. How important it would be to have three home league games only being two points after playoffs? Yeah, it's massive. I mean, you look at it, you win two or three games and it puts, puts you right in there. Um, We've been in that top six more times this last year than we were last year, so that's a positive. And we know we can get in there. We know we can um, compete with the big boys. We, you, you look, we, we beat Millwall, um, and we're up there. But we're just uh, we need to string them, them performances and them results together because we've been a bit hit and miss this season. Win one, lost one, and it's about getting getting that consistency of winning a couple of games in a row and improving our away form. It's a break from the league this weekend. The hard to pull in the FA Cup. How important it be for the club to get through that game and get into the third round? Yeah, it's important for the club and for the players. Um, the club, obviously, financially, will benefit massively from it. Um, and for the players, it's it's a chance of, of that dream dream tie, whether it's Man United, Liverpool, or whether it's your boyhood team, whether it's a Stoke derby. It's a chance for us to, for a few lads who haven't played them big teams to, um, to fulfil their dreams. Um, so we're going to be doing everything we can. We know it's going to be a tough game, but um, whether it's a scrappy one 0 win or whether it's a five 0 win, we don't care. It's uh, it's the FA Cup. We know anything can happen, so a win's a win, and that's what we're going to go for. 